Hey guys, I have my associate with me right here. <laughs> and we have a special announcement to make. Today, I put up a poll on Google Plus to ask, could you guys give 15 likes to get this video made tonight? And you did it. And my associate here <laughs> would like to say a little something about that. We crouch good congratulations for the big win of number 15. And now on to the video. Good job, Lee. Frigid air unit, it's been a few days. So. See, there's still some nitrogen pressure on it, even though it was leaking. So, nice slow leak. So, we're gonna pack it full of pressure again and confirm the location on the inside one more time. Then, I'm gonna braze it up and then I'll come outside and change this dryer since it was sitting open for a while. Vortex coil here in the closet. We put in a couple of years ago, right behind here. If you can hear it, it'd be very difficult. I don't know where the microphone is on here. It's kind of blurry. I'm not sure if you can hear that or not. All right, guys, I kind of wiped it off with a cloth because it was some of the bubble residue still where I was bubbling it the other day and kind of scrubbed it with a piece of sandpaper. I'm going to braze all the way around it and the one next to it a little bit probably too. Remove the Schrader core. This will probably melt a little bit, but that's all right. So we're going to... I bleed for my money Day in and day out I try to give you The things you deserve We are now adding some nitrogen to the system it Takes a little bit of listening to hear what's going on Looks like we might be adding nitrogen on this bottle But I'm going to pump what I got in this one and go get another one. It's going to take a little bit of listening to make sure we don't have a leak because it's very slow. As I cut my old dryer out, I have my new dryer in right there. I have to braise it up, blow a little bit of nitrogen while I'm doing it. I don't have my, my nitrogen flow rater died again. So I'll see if I can flow a low enough amount with the regulator there. But it gets kind of iffy. So we'll see. It'll get braised up either. Refrigerant or R422D. We got about we had a 10 pound R22 charge. So we'll probably go with about eight or nine pounds, and we'll finish it off with the unit running. Just started our system up. You see where our sub cooling's coming up a little bit. Our split's really nice. Probably have low airflow too because it's a manufactured home. Suction pressure's a little low. Head pressure's a little bit low. I gave it a 10 to 12 sear head pressure target but it might be a 13 sear unit I am not quite positive but it could be it's awful large so we'll see we'll let it run for a few more minutes all right guys I'm about to leave the old evaporator fixing job change shirts because I'm going to a ball game now uh, about 20 minutes to the east of here my daughter and my son are playing softball and baseball respectively tonight so I'm going to go watch them play and eat my dinner at the ballpark, hot dogs and Pepsi there we go. nachos and cheese we got our sub cling up a little bit, not really as high as I'd like it and the superheat stayed a little bit lower than I'd like it I like it, you know 7-8 degrees on, on both superheat and sub cooling somewhere in there, but we didn't really get there, we were a little bit below that which is okay, it's just going to be a little bit colder coming back I didn't want to wrench the TXV shut any farther than it already was because it would drop the suction pressure and it could cause the coil to freeze up at, at what would have been a normal working temperature inside. So we didn't want that. And I didn't want to put any more refrigerant into the machine because we were already at 12 pounds of refrigerant and I felt like we were, you know, pushing the envelope of how much refrigerant we should put in the machine. 
and I will see you guys on the next one.